Good Tuesday morning, Pennsylvania, and thanks for checking us out here at the Campus Weather Service. Today, it is going to be feeling much more like a winter time day than late March. Heck, it's almost April, and wait till you see what we got in store for today. It was dark from the hub camera, of course, but now the sun is poking up over Mount Nittany. Here's a live look at that, of course. You can see uh, it's going to be turning into a nice day. These clouds are actually headed outbound. They are leaving us and skies are clearing at this point. It's cold though, 23 degrees, 21 degrees actually uh, right now. I just looked at this a couple minutes ago, so we're still falling for the overnight low or to our overnight low. So it's 21, a wind at 14 miles an hour, making it feel like eight degrees right now. So this again is more like late January or early February compared to where we should be for this time of year. And today it's not gonna be going far. 21 now, 29 is our forecast afternoon high. At least it will be sunny. That's about the only good part of today. Statewide, it's cold to the north and west where we had clear skies. You're further away from a storm system offshore, so temperatures were able to fall off more. 8 degrees in Bradford, 10 in Franklin, 16 in Pittsburgh. But to the east, where we're seeing more cloud cover, it's a little bit milder relatively. It's all relative this morning. 22 in Scranton, 27 in Allentown, 31 in Philadelphia. So everybody below freezing this morning. And most of us will not get back to freezing until tomorrow, sadly enough. We had a weak snow band cross through the center region earlier this morning. It put down a little sugar coating of snow for some of us, but enough to just maybe ag agitate us and irrig uh, irritate us this morning. Clear those clouds from the coastal low offshore. That's going to be whisking away. So everybody looking for a good deal of sunshine today. It's just going to be on the winter like side. That storm system is bringing a blizzard to the Cape and eastern New England. Blizzard warnings are up. You could see up to a foot of snow that way. But the difference in pressure between this blizzard, really, and high pressure building in from the west will funnel strong winds down from the north. So today, that's why wind chills are going to be so harsh. But thankfully, it only lasts a day. And then things go up from here. Our next system is for Friday. It's going to be in the form of a cold front crossing the state. And by 7 o'clock in the morning, just when you're trying to head out to work or class, the rain will be knocking on our door. It could come down moderate to heavy at times. This will be crossing the state during the day. So a wet morning rush in the west, a wet evening rush in the east, looking pretty likely for Friday. This front is going to meander around and kind of stall overnight. And then an area of low pressure could ride along of the front for Saturday and that could make Saturday actually a wetter day than Friday. That's the way it's looking right now. Keep checking back with us for more on that, but a wet first half of the weekend looks likely. Here's the seven day forecast, 29 today, but tomorrow well in the right direction, 48 degrees. Then the rain moves in Friday and Saturday, both looking a bit soggy. Spotty showers there for Saturday might be putting it a little bit generous. We'll have to watch that. Sunday, we clear it out, mostly sunny, 52, and then we could approach 60 degrees by next Tuesday ahead of our next system. We'll keep our fingers crossed on that one.